Hello, my name is Jacob Monk. Welcome to this short video about Ivanka Trump, Queen of Death. Who is Ivanka Trump? Well, if you're living in America, I'm sure you know. She's a very beautiful lady, a very deadly lady. She's the daughter of President Donald Trump. And President Donald Trump has always said that he is very influenced by his daughter. He loves her very much, and I suppose she loves him too. Actually, she has got a job in his presidential administration. I've heard that her salary is uh, zero. She don't get any salary, but she's a multimillionaire already because of her former job and because of her husband, who has a very good job too. He's also employed by Donald Trump in one of his companies. Well, Donald Trump had the uh, saying when he was running for president that he want to talk to Russia. He want to negotiate with Russia. He want to have peace with Russia. He didn't want American policy to be intervening in all kind of other countries, for example, in Syria, for example, in Iraq, for example, in Libya. He saw this policy made by Obama administration and by the Bush administration as a failed policy, a very immoral policy and not a policy that would benefit the American people. But now Donald Trump has broken his promises because a few days ago he sent 56 Stinger missiles against Syria. Syria is an independent sovereign country. They are a member of the United Nations. So this was a declaration of war against Syria. Also, Donald Trump has accepted to send American special forces into Syria, probably to help ISIS, but his formal goal is to fight against ISIS. But unfortunately, exactly the day the Americans bombed Syria. Easy made attacks too. That means that the American attack and the Easy attack was coordinated with the purpose of destroying Syria and getting rid of the democratic elected president Assad of Syria. Well, Assad, he will gladly resign, but it has to be on the basic of an election, a democratic election, not on the basis of the wishes of Washington and on the basis of an American bumping campaign. America, they have destroyed Libya illegally. They have destroyed Iraq illegally. And now they are trying to destroy Syria illegally. They don't care about United Nations or international rules. They don't give a damn. They have given weapons uh, of chemical warfare to the so-called rebels in Syria. And they have given weapons of chemical warfare to all of their partners all around in the NATO community and in all other military forces, so-called rebel forces, that the Americans are supporting. But how about Ivanka Trump? Well, it is said that she was the one who got Donald Trump to send missiles against Syria. This is a very, very serious matter because it could be the start of a global war because Syria is an allied with Russia 
and they are also supported by China. So if America, USA wants to make illegally invasions and bombardments on Syria, they must accept that before or later the Russia will give them a military response and they won't like that. Well, why did Donald Trump break his own promises from his electoral campaign? The answer to this question is probably, we don't know exactly for sure, but we think, and many journalists think, that he has been persuaded by Ivanka Trump. But why is she so engaged in what is happening, so interested in what is happening in Syria? Well, the reason is Ivanka Trump, she's a Jew. Her husband is a Jew and she is a convert to Jewish religion. So she identifies with the criminal state of Israel, the one and only state in the world with 50 FN resolution against them. They don't give a damn about that because they are supported by USA. But Israel, they keep the West Bank in Gaza illegally occupied. And they also keep the Golan Heights, this is a part of Syria, illegally occupied. And they have done that since the war in 1967. Now Ivanka Trump, she wants to do good deeds for her employees in Israel. She wants to be good friend with her Jewish man and she wants to show the rulers of Israel, these criminals, that she's a real Jew too. You know, when you're a convert in Jewish Judaism, you have to prove that you are a real Jew. And to be a real Jew, you have to fight, to kill, to bump, to rape for Israel. And that is exactly what the Queen of Death, Ivanka Trump, has started up doing. She is the reason that Donald Trump, her father, has broken all his promises from the electoral campaign. He has not talked to President Putin yet, although this was a basic point in his electoral campaign. No, now he's starting uh, to attack one of Putin's and Russia's closest allies. That is a very bad idea. But the reason is Ivanka Trump. She is the queen of death. And with, if this escalates to a global war, well, that will probably be the end of you, of your children, of your father and mother, and of course of me too. It will be the end of Ivanka Trump too. But she is so stupid that she wants to do everything just to promote her Jewish way of thinking. I don't like Ivanka Trump. I think she should go back to her former job as an entrepreneur in the construction business. She shouldn't be a politician because she do not work to the benefit of USA. She works to the benefit of Israel because Israel, they want Syria to be dissolved. Syria to be destructed and President Assad to be killed. Israel want to share the, the geographical area of Syria. They want to share it with ISIS, their allied ISIS. That's why Israel has supported ISIS economically, military and with hospitals and many other things for several years because they have the common enemy of the president of Syria, Mr. Assad. So the queen of death today and maybe in the future, 
a very, very dangerous woman. She's called Ivanka Trump. Thank you for listening.